Growing up in my house, uh, mom was a single working parent. Uh, she had myself and my brother and sister to take care of and was working full time. So in the beginning, she taught us to cook out of necessity. The least amount you can do there, the better. Okay. So that's great. Well, he was always underfoot in the kitchen. Now, I, I made a point of trying to teach all three children something about cooking. I think everyone needs to know something about cooking. But David kind of took to it more than the others did. That just came naturally to him. When David first called me to tell me about the cookbook, he was kind of excited about it. And I said, honey, that's a, a tremendous project. Um, you you want to get involved in something that big? Well, yes, he said, I, I think that would be a wonderful thing. Well, you know, if Dave, David won't commit for something, unless he's really into it. And this was something he really wanted to do. So it really was exciting to be able to weave in so many stories about my mom in the book. We were able to travel to her home in North Carolina. We have pictures of the two of us cooking together in the kitchen in the book. A lot of uh, uh, fun pictures in the book of she and I eating together. Because for us, family time and meal time was all about storytelling and getting the family around the dinner table. And food was always at the heart of that. I really celebrate everything that my mom taught me in the kitchen. She really inspired me to, to dream big and to do really uh, exciting things in my life. And I credit her for having taught me to cook, but I credit her even more for teaching me to dream.